<laughs> Teaching loosely. <laughs> do, I, do I need any other examples, folks? Teaching loosely. Um, why don't you just go grab a welder and start playing around with some metal and I... MIG welder, TIG welder, what are, TIG welders are really confusing. I don't, I don't, I don't know how to do that. It's the foot combination with the feet and the hands and <laughs> doesn't work. Anyway, back to the point at hand. Teaching loosely is not something that you would get in trouble for if you did in the classroom. <laughs> it is something that would probably increase the probability with which your students would learn because you don't want to be so specific uh, that they only that they only learn that whatever it is you're trying to teach them happens in one particular context. You want to be loose with it, right? Um, so I want you to learn how to do X, but I want you to learn it in multiple environments and kind of allow the context to take control of the behavior, if you will. Um, Putting people in touch with natural contingencies is a, one of the things that's good about teaching loosely, right? So if I teach you to weld on one piece of metal, but I'm like, you might want to try that on other tools or other types of metal as well. Give it a shot, you know, teaching loosely. Don't be so strict and everything for crying out loud. Think of us!